Oh, oh yeah, should I should I, should we do a first impressions now? I haven't even seen his ascensions. Let's take a look at him. Let's level him up, see the ascensions and all the good jazz, and then let, take a look at his kits. And I'll tell you exactly what I think about Mr. Minamoto no Tometomo. Here we go. Let's see what he looks like when he goes up the ascensions. Ooh. Mm. Did he like... Is his armor like... Does he have less of it now? Is he like more agile now? Also, he gets more darker colors this time. Interesting. Dude, I like the Kira Kira sparkles around the eyes. <laughs> I also like that the moon is in the background because of his MP as well, right? And yes, I have seen the MP, obviously. Alright. Ascension 3, let's go. Let's see what this looks like. Red, uh, there it is. This is the one that he that was in the story battle in the event, right? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, he has a different pose as well this time. Okay. Okay. Does it go three times faster? Yeah, that is actually pretty cool though. Yeah, I like. I'm I'm gonna have to take a look at all these sprites and whatnot after I've done leveling him because I kind of like them all. All right. Final Ascension. What do we got? Okay. He's ready to go. Definitely one of those badass type of Final Ascensions. Which makes sense. Okay, that was pretty cool. Oh, that was pretty cool. Nice delivery. All right, there we go. Max level. Now the important part. Fate fashion order. Which one? Which ascension am I gonna choose? Yeah, this is cool, huh? Pretty edgy, but cool. Mmm. Okay. So does one have more armor? Well, it's hard to say. It has thicker armor, maybe. This one is more like a weeb style armor because it has the leg plates of the samurai and whatnot as well. I actually do like them all. And there is actually quite a bit of difference between them, which is cool. I think I'll start with two, yeah. So visually, I'm actually very pleased so far. Even the voice is cool. Even if it's even if the lines are obviously a fair bit robotic, so there's not going to be a ton of personality under there. But hey, I still like it. Now, um, before I tackle skills, obviously let's do this in the same order as always. I'm going to start with the passives and the MP. I do have an idea of what he does, but I don't know exactly what he does. So let's see. All right, Magic Rest C, and then Independent Action B. So again, much like um, Bakin, there's not a whole lot to talk about in regards to the passives. Basic stuff that you would basically expect to see from them, respectively. I will actually open up his um, page here, ready, it's just so I can see numbers, but I'll, I'll look at the stuff as I'm going at the same time, okay? So let's take a look at the MP next. Oh yeah, what is his normal deck? Double Buster, Double Arts. Okay, so he's not full Gorilla mode. He probably still has some um, decent gains. Now, what do we got? Um, self, ignore, invul, one turn. I learned that the hard way, needless to say. <laughs> oh, shout out to earlier battles. Um, but also ignores defense. So that's that's the godly combo. That's like the, the that's what you always want to see. It's very rare, needless to say. Only like a handful of servants have the double whammy on their MP. But it's an amazing combo, needless to say. Just absolutely gods here. So that's cool. Very nice utility. Now, um, oh, he has water side effects. So if he, if you're in water field, um, buster up one turn for self. Interesting. Also before damage, very important to note. And then does the uh, AOE... Oh, there's a, there's a power mod on the damage. It's against... Is that lawful? Oh, it's lawful. I'm so bad with alignments. So that is lawful alignment damage, huh? Actually pretty good, because that is definitely common. Right? Yeah, that is common. Good power mod, good for sure. The boss drop apparently is, I'm looking at the numbers on the wiki, is uh, 20%. Not the biggest bonus, but it's nice to have. And then the lawful mod is the base 150, as you would expect. And the lawful mod scales with the OC as well. Actually a really good MP, huh? Yeah, this is a very, very strong MP. Effects-wise. 
Again, did, I'm not sure about the damage yet because I haven't really lapped him or anything, but I can already tell. FX wise, this is a god tier MP. The, the perfect double whammy of the um, ideal utility with some potential for much higher damage as well. Now, let's get to more fun stuff, aka the skills. What do we got? We have a Buster Icon. Also, I just noticed his attack is insanely high, huh? Holy crap. Okay, this could be good. Now, um, what do we got? Self Buster up three times three turns. Okay, and critical damage for three turns. So it's a very basic skill. Now, let's see what, what do we got for numbers. Five turn cooldown. Buster up 50%. Okay, now I kind of understand the three, hit, uh, three time effect. Okay. And then the crit damage is 30%. Would have liked to have seen 50%, not gonna lie. I would say this is an okay skill. Not great, not terrible. It's an okay skill. Alright, skill number two, Guts Icon. What do we got? Let's see if this is uh, more exciting. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Self Guts one time, three turns. Oh! And when you activate, when Guts activates, you get MP damage one time, three turns. And you remove debuffs? So that effect lasts for three turns. And then also a battery. Now let's look at numbers, okay. Guts up to 2k healing. Okay, pretty standard, not much to say. MP the dam MP damage from the guts proc is um 20%. And then the battery is 30%. On a six turn oh, cooldown. Definitely a much better guts than a, a lot of the ones in game, so actually good. Yeah. This is um this is a way above average guts skill for sure. Is it broken? No. Is it good? Oh yeah. It's very good. Third skill, sure hit icon. So, you know what? Okay, here's the thing. So, I, I guess he will have sure hits. It's kind of weird because his MP already gives him an invul pierce for one turn. So, it's definitely already going to be a bit diminished in value, though. But let's take a look what else we have here because surely it's not only sure hit. All right. What do we got? So, there it is. Self sure hit. Five turns. Okay, so it's a seven turn cooldown. Interesting. So, a five turn effect for that. Okay. So now, every turn. MP damage? Wait, he has a turn, like, increasing MP damage? Which is a one-time, five-turn MP damage buff? Really, now? And that lasts for five turns. Okay. And then also charge self-MP every turn for five turns. Now, let's see the numbers. This is really important here. 20% MP damage every turn. Okay. And then 10% MP gauge every turn. Okay. Again, the sure hit is a bit awkward because he already has Invul Pierce in his MP. So it's not the best thing ever. But I guess he does have a really high hitting MP potential. It's just going to take a while to get there. So he's, his kit is all about offense. Besides the guts and the debuff removal when you're guts prox, there's not really anything else. But is it a bad thing? Maybe not. Theoretically gets 120% MP damage and 70% buster up from self buffs. Mm. That's like the best case scenario, so it's definitely not going to happen always, but yeah, that's just from his own stuff. Yeah, he, I guess he's like a very, uh, somewhat similar to him, Protea, after the latest buff as well, when you think about it. I want to say he's going to be very good, but I, I will have to try him out a little bit more. But uh, first impressions, I, I think he's also very solid. Again, not broken, uh, much like uh, Baki, neither of them are, uh, um, are broken. They're not going to like be revolutionary units. Or even necessarily must have units, because again, alternates or alternatives exist for all of both of their roles. Considering he's also permanent, again, by the way, we have to stress that out. This guy is permanent. I feel like he's gonna be a very solid spook. Like, he's gonna be on the most wanted list for a lot of people in terms of spooks, at least. So, much like Bakin, I'm very satisfied with him as well. I think they're doing a pretty good job. And um, yeah, thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, if you enjoyed this first impressions video, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button on YouTube as well, in case this goes up, and it might. And of course, subscribe for more, uh, lots of juicy videos on the way. This probably will come out before the um, uh, giveaway winner rolls, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be spicy, okay? And um, have a great rest of your day. Alright, peace out.